thing is for sure, everyone had their own strategy for how best to soak in this sky gazing. And that's right. And while most people watch the eclipse from the same vantage point on the ground, I caught up with one Capital Region man who had a unique view of the historic moment. Some might say David Prescott had the best seat in the house to view today's total solar eclipse. Here's the seat belt. I should put that on. <laughs> and I'll actually show you those too that are kind of a little, again, a little different than a car. Yes. Similar, but a little different. The Navy veteran and pilot of 25 years taking to the skies for an up close and personal view of the eclipse. I suppose this is a great way to beat all the traffic on the, oh, the yes. roads. And I, won't, I won't have to deal with any uh, you know, uh, traffic congestion coming back and stuff. <laughs> The owner of Warbird Factory in Albany and founder of the Prescott Foundation restores and repairs old warplanes while also educating the next generation on the history of vintage aircrafts. And so this is actually a wheel off of one of the airplanes that we used to fly. Prescott saw his first total solar eclipse when he was just a boy, fueling his love of space, the skies and science, and also his decision to make the once in a lifetime eclipse trip today. That's something that I remember for the rest of my life. So I want to take the opportunity to have the best vantage point I possibly can. Flying along the path of Syracuse to Plattsburgh for the best view during totality, his plane equipped with electronic maps, autopilot, collision avoidance and more to allow him more time to take in the view. Following a career of historic flights, including landing a plane at the Kennedy Space Center, Prescott says he believes this experience will be one of his most memorable. Hopeful it will be for the next generation, too. This is an opportunity to, again, spark passion, you know, in the sciences for people. I mean, as you're watching all the news stories that you guys are releasing about how important a solar eclipse is, you know, in the studies of different things, um, it's just yet another thing that to re-spark that imagination in kids. And since you're right here next to me, I'm guessing you didn't get to go up in that plane for the eclipse today. Unfortunately <laughs> not. Uh, as for who did get those coveted seats next to David for the ride of a lifetime, well, he says he received a lot of interest, but those were reserved for, of course, his wife and his son. Uh, he took a lot of photos and some GoPro videos, and he plans to publish some of that and share more about his experience in the coming days. So we'll check back in with him then. Right. I say in 2044, you get to go up with him. Yeah, right? I, I call dibs. Yeah, so there look we go. it now. <laughs> Thanks so much.